Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Just Another Tuner. And if you saw in my last update, I've had trouble with the overheating and stuff, and I figured out what it is. The radiator is the culprit, so we're replacing that today. So stay tuned. Pop these little brackets out. This is what actually goes right here. There's three little prongs that you gotta push in and pull out, which are kinda, it's kinda tough to do. But uh, that's what actually holds your, your radio, your radio, radiator in. So it's pretty loose now as you can see it moving. So we're just gonna finish disassembling some stuff and get it pulled out. shroud out you want to take it off first now after you unplug uh, your ground wire and your main clip up here there's gonna be two tabs at the bottom of the radiator that you just push in you tell you want to push kind of push it up and get those un undone and then you go up the top and this and there's another plug up here that holds these ends on and then you just kind of pull it up a little bit and then you just slide it out the bottom now the radiator is going to be the same similar process after you get all the hoses off. I already got one hose off. You got one here, you have another one, little one here, and there's one right down there. Now, there we go. So after you get those off, it should be the same thing. So that's what we're going to do now. So, if you haven't figured it out already, your AC condenser, it's actually sitting or attached to the radiator. So your AC lines that run right through here that are attached, that go around it to the AC condenser, makes it really hard to get this thing pushed forward. So what I had to do, or what I did, I just kind of took a screwdriver and stuck it in here and just had to really pry, just pry it out some to be able to get it past the clearance of this uh, thing right here that's holding the, your wiring harness on. And this little hose right here <laughs> likes to keep getting in the way, so you have to watch that. But um, I mean, but all I did was this. I just kind of pried it a little bit and then pulled it up and it got it out of there. And I did the same thing over here. So now what I got to do is figure out how to take off the AC condenser because you don't want to take that out. So what I'm working on now is removing my front grill and that should give me access to the AC condenser to be able to pop it out. So we're gonna take that off now. It's just two screws that hold this thing in. And then after you take those out, there's actually four clips on your grill and they slide in here. There they are. You just push them down or maybe you pull them up. It's one of the two and it slides right out. Pretty easy. All right, so in here, you got some little clips. I'm gonna try to point to one here. I don't know if we can be able to see it. But, all right, there, my, my finger's on one. Okay. So you got a clip here, and you got one on the other side. And looks like you got one down there at the bottom. Right there. And on that side. So you gotta undo all four of those, and the condenser just kind of pulls up about an inch, and you can remove it from the radiator before you take it completely out. So that is what we're going to do now. Uh, 
Okay, so I finally got these little things to come out. Did not realize, because I was trying to figure out, when you push it up, this little knuckle right here, which is getting hung right here. Well, apparently this is just a rubber gasket. So when you're getting ready to push it up, you push it up because it moves about an inch. And you just push these little tabs in and just push it through the hole. And that's how you get it out. Now, the next trick <laughs> was try to figure out how to get this thing to lean forward to where you can actually get it out. So before I pulled it all the way out, I wanted to show you really quick. So it's the next day. I had to end a little early yesterday. And besides, I had to wait till the day to go pick up the new radiator. So, now we're going to get ready to install. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and get underneath the car. And then we're going to go ahead and put it up in the place where it needs to go. And we're going to attach the AC condenser. So, exactly the reverse order of what we did while taking it out. So let's get to it. All right, it's easy to do from the bottom, but I don't know if I can get my hand in there to show you. But you remember the clips that we undid that are right, there's one right there. And then there's a groove right here that that just slides in. And there's one on both sides. So you gotta make sure that all of that four of those things are lined up and then you just click it back into place. So after you got that attached, now we're going to kind of do like what we did when we uninstalled it. I'm going to get a screwdriver and just kind of help pry that out a little bit to where we can get the, the two brackets at the bottom that go into the hole. Let's go underneath and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so, you, so your knuckles right here, they're going to go into this hole. And see how it doesn't really clear? That's why up here up top, we're going to kind of pry it out so you can lift it up past this little bracket thing right here to where you can slide that right into that hole. You're going to do the same thing over here. So that is what we're going to do now. Alright, so we got those brackets in. After you get them put in, you just kind of push down the radiator and then they'll just pop into place. So it's pretty easy. So, now what I'm going to do is flip this camera around. You're going to take your, your bracket holder, whatever you want to call this thing. Yeah, I'm cut. I'm bleeding. <laughs> and we're going to just go ahead and slide these in to where it holds us in place, but we're not actually going to snap it down yet. So, so go ahead and put it in. And I can put the camera down. So where it just kind of helps hold it in place where it's not going to move around. So we're going to do the same thing over here. Boom, there. See, so now it's pretty secure. It ain't gonna go nowhere. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and hook up all the hoses. So if you remember, you got one right down there. You see the connector connection down there. And you got one right here, and you have another little one right there. So we're gonna get those hooked up. Got everything hooked back up. It's all in. Besides the fan, we're about to do that next. 
but I went ahead and uh, poured the fluid in and make sure that you don't put it past the max line because if you get too much pressure inside your uh, radiator or it could cause too much pressure inside your radiator because there's not enough uh, space I guess to to allow it to expand or whatever it has to do so you could get a crack in your radiator or a hose or something like that so and also when you're putting it in pour it in just a little bit at a time so you can watch and check for leaks make sure nothing's leaking out before you just dump all your antifreeze in and you're like oh crap it's leaking all over the place so um, mine seems to be good it's been sitting for about five minutes now since I put it in I haven't noticed any leaks so we're gonna move on with the fan and the fan is pretty much the exact same way that we did the uh, radiator and the um, AC condenser you just slide it in and it just pops back into place and then you just hook up uh, your two cables right here you got your ground and then you have your main wiring harness and you just hook, and this plug goes back up so we're gonna slide that in now I got my harnesses hooked back up. I got all my hoses hooked up. And then the last thing I did is obviously you just push these down and that holds it into place. So it's completely back installed. Now if your car is turboed like mine, ah, then you got some intercooler pipes you need to put back on. But if not, then you just put back in your air box that goes right here for the, people, for the ones that have um, a stock application so guys this concludes it that's how you install a radiator in a Mazda 3 if you have any questions please leave them in the comment below hope you enjoyed this video I hope it helps you out and it saves you some money so good luck and have a great week